Hello, this is Chris, and I'm working on the uh, 1999 VW Beetle. And I'm going to take this door panel off here, all right, and replace that speaker in there. It's busted and fried. And this is what you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a T20 Torx. And when you take this little light off, that's what that little plug looks like, that little light there. And you squeeze it and pop it out. I'll show you that in a minute. And it's got a bunch of these little guys in there that pop out. This part plugs into the door and this part clips into that door panel. That's what they look like. I, when I took the other door panel off, none of them busted, so but they're, they're pretty tight. So we'll have a look at it and see how it goes. And when you take this uh, window crank off, just push that little collar back there. Just push it back a little bit and it pops right off. Really smart, really simple little guy. No problem. On this door pull here, you can pry it off with a plastic uh, pry bar. I just do it with my fingers. Now the one on the other side, it was busted. These little tabs here in the middle, they were all busted on this one here. And of course on the other side, this handle was broken, it was cracked right there. And so what I did was, is I reinforced it with a piece of metal in here and changed the screws on the other side. And I'll do the same on this side and I'll show that in a different video. Uh, but what it has is it just has a couple of Phillips head screws in there. It's no problem to take them out. Okay, well you can see where this one here has got a crack in it too. It's not busted all the way but it will bust soon. You can see where it's busted here too. That's kind of related to it, but really all this stuff is just plastic. And when the door is open all the way and somebody grabs this handle and they give it a good pull, you can see all those cracks get bigger. So I'll fix that, that's not a problem. Okay, well that's what it looks like in there and that's one of those little clips. And I, when I take mine apart, I just take them out. Because they end up falling on the ground and getting all busted up anyway. So I just take them out. And this guy here, it's a little bit more work to get it off. But you can see that it has a tab on each side. The tab there. And there's a tab there. Now I'll have to put the phone down because I'm using my phone. I need two hands to get it out. But that's what it looks like inside there. When I grabbed that little guy and pushed it through, it would be easier to see how, how this comes off. You just got to get in there and just got to get in there and pull both of those little guys, pop it out. It's not that big of a deal. It's just hard to do with one hand. <laughs> but that's it. That's what it looks like. All right, now this guy comes out pretty tricky fits in this channel right here and it's quite a bear to get off when you're pulling that thing up you need to make sure you're clearing that so it has to swing out a little bit you raise pull it up and then you unclip this little clip right here all right and then that unhooks Pretty simple job there. And there's a couple of wires on these guys here for the power door locks. One there. And one there. That's what they look like. And it just floats away. A couple more down there, and that's the trunk. That's the trunk one. And the gas cap one. Alright, well these two old guys here are quite tricky. I went to unplug these and they just popped right out of the module. So what I'm going to say is, is I recommend that you pop this thing out. Okay. It just clips into this hole. It just clips into that hole there. You pop it out. You pop it out towards you. And then after you get it out, you can use a small screwdriver or a plastic pry bar or something to prise these plugs. Because they're in there so tight. 
that when you go to unplug them, it will pull that that little micro switch for the trunk and the gas. Pop those micro switches out. Now mine, both of these little buttons here are busted already. They're already loose. They still work fine. But they're loose, so it didn't really matter that I broke mine out. But if you pull this out from the back, like the way I did, it'll probably break them. So be real careful with that. And it just just notches in there like that. The back goes in first and the front comes out. So you can pop it out like this and access those wires before you get too far along with this panel. All right, well, here's one of the reasons why we're doing this is because this speaker is really fried. Look at this. You go drive down the road with the stereo on, and that sucker is just cackling and popping. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. I'm going to get a uh, little Dremel tool and cut these off, all these little pillars off here, okay? And I'm going to get a grinder, and I'm going to cut about this much of it off. All the way around, we'll cut this this ring part off, okay? And then, of course, this plug is non-reusable. I'm going to use an aftermarket speaker that doesn't work with this car, so I'm going to splice into this. And there's the finish result right here on the other side. I just put three screws in it. Drill. I had to drill a hole for that for the wire to go through. You can see those wires coming out, that yellow and white wire. I just spliced those in. But what I had to do is I had to drill a hole about right here somewhere so that those wires can feed through and and connect with that and lay down nicely without getting in trouble. All right, well there's the next job on the list there. Got a cutoff wheel on here. All right. Got some mirror muffs because it's going to be loud. My glasses here, keep them from getting things in my eyes. And this little guy here is worth his weight in gold. I got this little drill bit here for the Dremel tool, high speed, like a 20,000 RPM thing or whatever. What is that? 35. All right. You can go sideways. You can drill in with this. You can do everything. And with plastic, it's not going to mess it up. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use to clear out those little pillars on there. It's going to work real good. Anyway, that, that's what it looks like. It takes two hands to, to do that, so I wasn't able to keep keep the video on, but I just buzz them little guys in half, clean them up so they're nice and flat, and I even knock this, those wires and stuff off. I just knock all that off, man. It's, none of it's gonna get used, and if it's hanging around, it's gonna ding a hole in your new speaker. You don't wanna do that, so that's not fun. Deal here, we just... Alright, so there we go. There's the ring that I cut off. And uh, it's not that big of a deal. He just cleans up. It really doesn't matter how clean that is. If you want it to be perfect, you can spend all day on it. I don't want to do that. I just want to get a speaker stuck in here and get this little guy on the road. It makes a big mess when you do this. So get ready for a mess. If you don't want it inside the car, you'll have to tape off the doorway. Okay. We got this little guy on there. I didn't put any special screws on there. I just got a couple of sheetrock screws that are designed to go into metal anyway, and they do a great job. Uh, this driver I got is an impact driver, so it kind of hammers them in when it gets to the metal, and the rest of the part is smooth. So. But anyway, uh, I've got the speaker mounted in there. That's what it looks like. It's about a quarter of an inch back uh, from the door. If you measure it, um, there's a little ring that was on there. This little ring here. I did not incorporate this ring into it. I'm gonna just throw this ring on the ground. This it doesn't do much for me. 
Uh, what it was designed to do is when you uh, put the door panel, it was supposed to press up on the door panel a little bit there and um, keep the, the speaker, the sound from the speaker from radiating behind the door and going straight out. So anyway, it's going to be a little bit closer to the door and that's fine. It's not going to have this and that's fine too. I don't care. Um, but that's what it looks like when you get it all together. And the other thing I didn't show was on the on the, on the door where the lock goes, it has this little sensor that blinks when the alarm is on. Uh, and it's got this little plug in it. You need to take that off too. I didn't I did not record that earlier, so it plugs into that spot right there. So that's it. Put it back together the same way. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to spray some lubricant in on this lock mechanism from the back through through this hole. I'm going to have to peel the edge off of it to get to it. I'm going to take this plug off and this plug off and there's a rail behind there that I'm going to lubricate. Anyway, that's what I'm looking at there. I'm going to put a little glob of grease right in that on that little rail there because right now it's dry. And when you roll that window up and down, it's just dry on there. So I'm going to put a little grease in there. And of course, I'm going to clean out all the shavings and stuff. But that's that one. And then the one on the other side, you have to stick your finger in there with the grease on it and reach around to get it on the rail. So it, I can't show a video of that. But that's what it looks like. I will mention one thing about the speaker. If you cut off too big of a ring, the thickness of this ring here, okay, needs to be uniform. Now I did a little crooked, so what happened was, is when you roll the window down, it made contact with the back of the window. So please just be careful with that. Uh, do a better job than I did. The other side worked perfect. Uh, this side, I guess I got it off about a, oh, I guess an eighth of an inch. So what I did is I made a shim. And I shimmed it out an eighth of an inch, and I'll glue that on there. And also, my speaker, it had this, uh, I don't know what this thing is on the back of it. I took that off, and that helped for the clearance. Just wanted to show you all the back of this door. And some of the cracks that are on it that I'm going to fix. That one there, and when you take that door panel off, it's got these little clips that are on there. Every one of them is busted off. Got one there, one there, and then this thing is busted. And all these little guys are broke off, so I'm gonna have to epoxy new tabs on there. Epoxy some new tabs. And then here's one of the. This is the door panel. It's just all fell off. It's just all falling apart. So I'm gonna get that reupholstered. That's it, man. Take it easy.